Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. The makers of Crest toothpaste are making big changes to several of their products. And this after a dental hygienist noticed something strange in her patient's mouths. Her discovery got Procter and Gamble to listen. Problem solver Susan Hogan joins us now with more on what she found. Well, what this hygienist found were small plastic beads embedded between her patient's teeth. After doing her own investigating, she learned they all had used one product in common, toothpaste. I didn't have any clue what it was. Trish Walraven has seen lots of things as a dental hygienist, but until recently, she had never seen anything like this. We thought it was maybe a uh, cleaning product or something that people were chewing. Little blue dots trapped in the tiny spaces between patients, teeth and gums. Some weeks I'll see five or six patients. After asking around, Trish finally figured out what it was polyethylene. It's a plastic used in all kinds of things like garbage containers, even bulletproof vests, and now toothpaste. Trish says one brand appears to use the plastic microbeads more than the others. Pretty much everyone was saying that they were using some form of Crest toothpaste. Dentist Justin Phillips says the microbeads shouldn't be anywhere near your mouth. They'll trap bacteria in the gums, which leads to gingivitis. And over time, that infection moves from the gum into the bone that holds your teeth in. That becomes periodontal disease. The periodontal disease is scary. Trish wrote a blog that went viral, even catching the eye of Procter & Gamble, which just this week responded by saying, while the ingredient in question is completely safe, we understand there is a growing preference for us to remove the ingredient, so we will. Call 12 for Action checked with the American Dental Association, which gives Crest its ADA seal of approval. It says polythylene microbeads are an FDA-approved food additive, and at this time, clinically relevant dental health studies do not indicate that the seal should be removed from toothpaste that contain polythylene microbeads. Now, Crest says the majority of its toothpaste will be microbead free. Six months from now, they'll be completely gone by March of 2016. If you want to make sure the product you're using is microbead free, take a look at the ingredient list on the back and make sure it does not include polyethylene. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. Or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer with me, you can call that same number you see right there on your screen. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.